Hi guys, on a review today I have Panasonic G90 or as it is called G95 in North America. Uh, this is a mid-level Panasonic mirrorless. It means, uh, when I say mirrorless, it means you can exchange the lenses. Uh, I have it on review here with uh, the kit lens 12 to 60 f 3.5 to 5.6, but also you can attach any of around 50 Olympus and Panasonic lenses that are available in Micro Four Third system. Uh, this camera sits above uh, models like uh, G, GX9 or GX880, but below the top level G9 and GH5. In other words, this camera is made for advanced users, but uh, not uh, top level professionals. What I like particularly about Panasonic uh, is because it wants to compete with Canon and Nikon and Sony, but it offers uh, a bunch of features. Uh, it offers uh, 4K video, so you can shoot vlog, you have a bunch of uh, keys, uh, you can set up uh, multiple things for photography and videography. If you're coming in the world of videography and photography, uh, this is going to be a great camera for you because you will be able to learn how to use all these functions and after you learn it, if you want to still go on, uh, you can buy a fully professional uh, full frame or, or some other camera. This camera has an excellent grip, uh, covered with rubber, fits very nicely in my hand, but still the camera is rather compact. It is smaller than most uh, DSLR cameras from Canon and Nikon. It is comparable mostly with Sony Alpha 6400 and Alpha 6500 or perhaps Canon EOS M5. In this video I will shortly explain the features and the image and video quality of this camera. If you want to know more details about the G90, you can see my review on my personal channel Camera Hoarders. On the back you can see LCD screen with 3 inches diagonal that has become a standard. It is fully articulated and with excellent touch uh, integration. You can also point it forward and that is great stuff for recording uh, vlogs. I also want to point out the uh, touch function on this camera is fully integrated with all camera functions, shutter, uh, focus points, uh, menu system, playback, everything works. I'm mentioning that only because, for example, Sony doesn't have full integration, it doesn't work on some features of the camera. Uh, above the LCD you can see electronic viewfinder. It has 2.3 million dots and it has excellent viewing quality. Basically, in real life use there is nothing to complain, except maybe with the fact that more expensive, more advanced cameras such as GH5 or G9 have even better viewfinder with old technology. This is standard LCD. On the side you can see memory card compartment. It accepts only one memory card, standard SD. But what is important to note, it accepts the fastest UHS two uh, card speeds and that is quite important for video recording. At the bottom you can see a battery, it is strong enough for around 300 shots and uh, it can be charged inside the camera. I also want to mention a very important thi thing, you can power this camera for external power bank. So uh, at the same time you can use it and you can uh, supply uh, electricity inside the camera. Still image quality from G90 is on a very high level. Uh, the sensor inside has 20 megapixels and is uh, maybe not the same, but probably very, very similar to that in, uh, the, in the more expensive G9. And you can see that in images. They have excellent colors and very fine details. Uh, also, this camera is quite usable up to ISO 3200. Okay, that depends on your uh, definition of, of what is usable, but I had no problems using it up to ISO 3200. Of course, this kit lens has only 3.5 to 5.6 aperture, so I, I recommend buying some prime lenses if you regularly shoot in low light. G90 records in maximum 4K uh, 30p video quality, and you can also select uh, lower resolution full HD at 60p or 30p. That means you can get uh, half speed 50% slow motion. This camera has a dedicated uh, movie mode, and that means you can select all the manual controls, that is excellent for advanced users, but if you do not want, you can keep it in full auto mode and camera will set everything by itself. Video's quality is uh, rather good. Uh, it is very detailed with excellent color reproduction. 
I also want to mention this camera has a stabilized image sensor, so if you use a lens such as this, which has also in lens stabilization, you can use both stabilizations at once. You can see it as this indication here, dual stabilization. Together, I think Panasonic made a really good camera from the G90. Uh, this camera delivers similar image and video results as the more expensive G9 or GH5. It also has a lot of advanced features like G9 and G5. Of course, uh, not everything, a lot, of, a lot of stuff is missing, but uh, still this camera is more affordable and easier to use. So for somebody who is not uh, pro level, who, who doesn't uh, earn money from photography or video shooting, this might be even the better choice. The camera, the camera is more affordable, it is smaller, lighter, easier to use and also has weather sealing, which means uh, it is able to withstand a harsher use. I think it's a great camera for beginners.